Hey Sue and the gang, my name is Jacob Sherburn. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to be reading Army Soldier and Sad Man, and I guess also Aliens 1 and 2. Thanks. So that you understand me, I will mimic your voice patterns. <clears throat> we have been like observing your planet for many years, but you could not see us. We discovered recently that every time a human flushes the toilet, like a chunk of our food disappears. We hate the humans who flush multiple times, brah. Why are you attacking us? You are our backup source of food. We look at you as dinner. We don't plan to kill you. Now. We like fresh food when you're ready to eat. Like sushi. Why do you make us dance? We've learned that happy food tastes better. What advances has your planet achieved that ours has not? Like we developed advanced intraplanetary travel. Also, dude, we harvested the power of our three suns to like completely power our planet. What else? We have eliminated all diseases by greatly accelerating the growth of healthy cells around the diseased cell. Similar to your iguana, the bad cells were starved off from nutrients and eventually drop off from the host body. What are your weaknesses? Well, we're pretty poor spellers. How do you power your spaceships? With our poop? Are you making fun of us? No, our poop is radioactive and it has become a plentiful, handy, and green way to supply power. Cha, I, I literally mean green. Give me a moment alone with privacy and I will show you. Thank you. Let me just... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I have ejected the necessary quantity. Check it out. Get back. It's radioactive. Incredible. And edible. And in all of your planetary travels, are you the most intelligent species that you have encountered? No. That would be a planet totally inhabited by Labradors. The dogs? Cha, yes. They are super smart. But we can easily control them because they cannot resist the urge to fetch. Have you discovered the meaning of life? Yes. It is to dance as much as possible. It propels the circle of life, especially when you like dance in the circle.
Just six cents a day is enough to feed thousands of ants. Don't let exterminators continue their cruel and heartless killing spree. Giving to Aunt Matilda is not just the right thing to do for the world. It's the right thing for you. Just look at their tiny little faces. <laughs>